Hey, what's going on, everybody? Scavenger here. Welcome back to Eternum. We are at this mansion party that, uh, you know, Ryan was invited to because he has a gem of doom. Um, things are going all right, I think. I don't know if we got a whole lot of information that we wanted, but now uh, we're, we're getting some fresh air, I suppose, with Alex. And we're out here in the garden now. So let's go ahead and jump into the game. Make sure if you like the video, you go inspect that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you haven't done so already. And um, if you want to see some things that I cannot show you here on YouTube, make sure you check out the Linktree link, which uh, links to my Patreon and some other things. Because if you're on Patreon, you get a little bit more stuff and you get a little bit more early. Let's go. All right. The gardens of this place are definitely impressive. They remind me of the gardens of Versalis. I wonder if they have NPCs taking care of them or if they hire real players. I'm not sure what would be cheaper, actually. Hmm. Oh, there she is. We're looking for Alex over here. Hey, I finally found you. Mm, whew, that was close. Thank God you saw your father coming. Oh, yeah, that's right. That, that happened at the end of the last video, basically, as we ran into her dad. I don't think the tattoo removal would have worked on him. He'd have definitely recognized you. I think he was even starting to remember me, even though we only saw each other for maybe 20 seconds. And I had a mask on this time, too. Yeah, he never forgets a face. And that's not all. Do you know who else was with him? Your brother. I guess he was attending as William's guest. Huh? But he was way too agitated, so he didn't notice me, luckily. I wonder why he was so anxious. Who knows? Are you okay, Alex? You seem distracted. Do you see that? The moon? No, underneath it. Oh yeah, there's like a little red star there. Oh, the red star? Yes. I can't believe that we can see it. Do you, do you mind if we stay out here for a bit? No, yeah, let's hang out. Let's hang out here. She needs some time. And uh, if she's uh, distracted, then we obviously can't focus on our goal, right? Yeah, we can hang out here. The other guest won't go anywhere. The sushi's far too good for that to happen. <laughs> True. You lay down? Okay, we're, we're laying down next to her. So, what's so special about this red star? The star is the RW Safi. It's a variable star that can only be seen from our hemisphere three days each year. October 15th through October 17th. Really? And today it's, uh, October 15th. How... How can Eternum be so real? How can a simulation be so thoroughly accurate? How... I mean... Someone with a high degree of astronomy knowledge knew about this star, worked on Eternum, and made sure to implement something that just a handful of people in the world would notice. And only if they played in a night server during those days. Think about the odds of that. It's mind-blowing. That's pretty, you know, that's actually pretty impressive. Do you believe in magic? What? I've been in fantasy servers, yeah. No, not like that. I mean, I mean like, in the real world. I met someone after he left, back at the mansion. He looked strange and he was saying weird things, but he mentioned something that I've been kicking around in my head. That Eternum is more than just a video game. That there's something more than coding and technology behind it. What if... What if he was right? What if there is something else? Well, you're not alone in that. There are literally thousands of forum posts online with people posting theories about how Eternum is the Matrix, how Eternum is another dimension, or how the real world is just another server. So you don't believe it? No, I don't. I don't believe in magic. But... I would certainly like to believe it. I wish I could believe in magic. It'd just make our world better. Less boring, don't you think? It certainly would. I guess I'd have to see something for myself that made me believe in it. It's not like there's a switch I can flip, you know? For now, I'll stay with my dumb stars and boring rational scientific explanations. Hey, stars are not dumb. It's a matter of perspective. Maybe you just need a stargazing partner. Yeah, you might be right. I used to go stargazing at night with my grandma. She knew all of the constellations. Do you see that bright one? That's our Sir Major. Underneath it, there's Leo, and oh, that W-shaped constellation is Cassiopeia. Um, I'm sorry. It looks all the same to me. I, I can't see anything. I'm trying to see the W. I'm trying to see the W. I don't see it. Um, but... That's because maybe I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's normal if you've never done this before. At first, I couldn't see anything either. Just a sea of stars with no symbols of order whatsoever. It took me a while. After my grandma passed away, I thought I'd never go stargazing again, but I kept on doing it. 
kind of to keep her memory alive, you know? I remember sneaking outside of the house when my parents started arguing and spending hours looking for constellations. I stuck out so many times that I ended up learning them all. Did they used to fight a lot? Uh-huh. Constantly. I used to feel like fighting was their only interaction. That must be terrible for a kid. It must have been tough for you after your grandma died. Well, it depends on who you ask. I lived in a big house. I had nannies, butlers, chefs, everything money could buy. Many people would say I was living the dream. It just wasn't my dream. Growing up, everything I did had to be regimented. Alex, don't put your elbows on the table. We have international diplomats coming to visit for dinner tonight. Your dad's promotion hinges on this. Or, no, Alex, you can't get your ears pierced. That's improper. Alex, don't eat all the food on your plate. It's not how a woman in higher society would behave. At a certain point, I just snapped. I wasn't being treated like my own person. I was just a doll, a fucking marionette that my parents wanted to show off and display. I just couldn't take it anymore. No one could blame you. You held on longer than I would have. You made the right choice. I... There was one summer, I was supposed to be spending it at some hoity-toity boarding school abroad. One night, I was gazing at the night sky, just like this, underneath the stars, looking for some sign. And I made a decision. The next morning, I told my parents that I wouldn't go to school and that I didn't want to carry on the family business. My mother started yelling at me, but my father limited himself to just giving me a look of pure contempt. And that's when Bad Girl Alex was born. The lockpicking, playing hooky, the attitude... All the tats. Oh man, the tats. You should have seen the look on Axel's face when I got the first one. A mixture of anger, pity, and honestly, a little envy. I'd pay to see that again. Oh, you and me both. I just didn't want to be controlled. I didn't want to be told what to do or where or eat. I wanted to be myself. Does that make any sense? Absolutely. These tattoos that I had to hide tonight... I hated doing that. I felt like I was bearing a part of myself, conforming to what others wanted me to be, and that's not who I am. I control my own life. I should be getting to do what I want without worrying that I'm hurting someone's delicate sensibilities about how I should be acting. I'm... I'm my own person. God, I'm sorry. I must sound like such a prissy brat. I don't know what got into me. Thank you for sticking around for my TED talk, though. I appreciate that you didn't fall asleep. <laughs> what are you talking about? I loved having this conversation with you. I like seeing you open up with me. Well, don't get used to it. You just caught me in a rare moment of weakness. Yeah, that's my specialty. The crickets, the full moon, the stars. It was all part of my nefarious plan. Oh, is that so? So you just wanted to get close to me because of my family's money after all? Yeah, totally. That was the initial idea. I'm a gold digger. But after getting to know you better, I've discovered a few things that I like much more than that. So now, the Bardo riches no longer interest me. Oh, really? Tell me, what things did you discover that you like so much? Ah, nice try. I know you don't like compliments. You won't catch me this time. However, you can try telling me what things you like about me. I'd love to hear that. About you? I don't like anything. <laughs> Nothing at all? Come on. Try giving it some thought. Hmm. Oh, you... Maybe... Hmm, no, nothing comes to mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let me help you. You could say that I'm a good listener or that I'm a pretty funny guy. We have different definitions of funny, I think. Then you could say that you like that I'm sporty as well, just like you. I'm in pretty good shape, you have to admit. I think skinny and scrawny are better descriptions. All right, then. You at least have to recognize that I'm a very good attorney player. I managed to find not one, but two gems of doom in my first month of playing. Oh, that was pure luck. And we girls did all the legwork. You just happened to be there. You alone wouldn't be able to find sand in the desert. <laughs> You're really full of yourself, you know that? Here, I'll prove it. There's a small maze right here. Oh, you just dug your own grave. Get ready to be humiliated, girl. You're about to discover why they call me Ryan Theseus Richards, the Labyrinth Master. Let's see about that. All right. All right, here's the entrance. First one out the other side wins. What's the prize for winning? Just the honor of victory, of course. And nothing else? No extra bonus prize for the winner? Hmm, maybe we can arrange something. Like what? Oh, she just left. 
get to the other side first and find out. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. You have no chance, Alex. Really? Because I think I see the exit already. Okay. Ryan, are you lost? Of course not. I'm about to get out, actually. Sure. All right, what is this? Hmm. I think I've walked by this spot before. Maybe I can, uh... Hmm. Okay, we might be lost a little bit. She is already up. And it's over, ladies and gentlemen. I've got bad news, Ryan. I've reached the other side. Are you still there? I'd wait for you, but I gotta go back in the mansion. Important mission and all. Don't feel too bad about coming in second place. I'd never lose. Anyway, there's still a lot of... Well, 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 finally. What? When did you get out? I've been waiting for you for like 10 minutes now. I was starting to think you'd get lost in there forever. <laughs> Don't bullshit me. You weren't inside for more than three to four minutes, and I was clearly ahead of you. Well, I might have jumped over a hedge or two. <laughs> I knew it. You're a fucking cheater. We didn't specify the rules anywhere. Now, where's my prize? Oh, I know what you want, and you wouldn't be able to handle it, pretty boy. I'm pretty sure I would. I know you better than you think. I definitely could handle you. I know that under that tough girl facade of yours, you're as sweet as a cupcake. You can't deceive me. I'm too much of a woman for you, Ryan. I could totally prove you wrong, Alex. Oh, she's removing her gloves. Oh, could you? And how would you do that exactly? Give me 20 minutes and I'll show you. How about 20 seconds? Oh, are we negotiating now? We're not. That's my... What's that noise? Is someone coming? Sounded like a lighter. God damn it, nice timing. They're gonna kill the mood, whoever they are. Hmm. It's William Bardot. Oh man, you have to be kidding me. Who is it? It's your father. My father? What's he doing? He's smoking. He's... Just standing there, menacingly. If Flux could kill, I'd be super worried. Hmm, yeah, sounds like him. Wait, someone else is coming. Oh, shit, it's your brother. It's so nice to see the Bardo family reunited. Dad, I swear to God, it was him. Go back to the party, Axel. Maybe he's in witness protection, or maybe... I told you to drop the line of thinking. I will not repeat myself. But, but, you have to listen to me. It makes no sense that... Enough! I'm getting sick of your idiocy. You have to start taking these things seriously. I will not have you selling the Bardo name like your sister. I, I'm sorry, Dad. Now get back to the fucking mansion and do what you're told. Are we clear? Uh, yes, I, I'm sorry. I'm surrounded by idiots fucking everywhere. It seems like they had a fight and Axel ran away. What were they talking about? I'm not sure. I didn't quite catch it. They're too far. Uh, okay, I think Axel went back to the mansion, but William is still there. But, f fuck. I left my mask at the entrance of the maze. We can't let them see us. We'll, we'll wait here until he goes back into the mansion. <laughs> you sound a little shaky, Ryan. Are you afraid of my daddy? What? what? No, I'm not, I'm not. Are you shaking because of Axel, then? Is he the one making you so nervous? You can admit it. Don't worry, I won't laugh. Of course not. Not now. Not ever. Then, why are you nervous, Ryan? What are you doing? Maybe it's because of me. Oh, what? No. No. I don't make you anxious. Not one tiny little bit. Not one bit. And what if I do this? Still nothing? Nothing. And now? Oh, God. This feels so dangerous, yet so exciting. I've never been calmer. I guess I've lost my touch. I'm used to getting people on edge. You'll have to try harder with me. Well, I do like challenges, and like I told you, I never lose. We'll see about that. Now tell me, what if I... Uh, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I think she uh, realized what uh, you know what Ryan's got going on. I think she's realized his talent. Uh oh! Uh, now what's she doing? Now what's she doing? 
I see what you're trying to do. This has now become personal. Okay, he's still trying to resist. But I'm not trying to do any- Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Those perky- I've thought about them ever since we visited Ogigia. Alright, that's uh, done. And what, what what's going on here? And what she said. But anyway, what matters is that I won. You came before my father finished his cigarette. I think he left a while ago. What? God damn it. When did he leave? I'm not sure. Five or six minutes ago? Five minutes ago? See? Totally engrossed. You even lost track of time. <laughs> it was just too good. It wasn't that great. Well, it was for me. Yeah, I can imagine. Can't wait to tell everyone what I did with one of the Bardos. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> hold your horses. You tell anything to anyone and you're a dead man. You hear me? Dead. That was a joke. I don't care if it was a joke or not. You're not telling shit to anyone. Not Dahlia, not Chang, no one. Are you listening to me? N no one. <laughs> I swear. Don't worry. You can trust me. N no one will ever know. I don't even remember what happened. What are we talking about? Did something happen? <laughs> Good. This didn't happen. It never happened. Okay. Now that that's clear, I guess we should go back to the party. And by the way, I forgot to hand this to you earlier since you were late. This is a communicator I got from Nova. It can easily be hidden, and it works in all servers where technology is allowed. Call me if you need anything, or in case of an emergency. Oh, that's neat. I've got to thank Nova later. But wait, you're not coming back inside with me? No, you go ahead. I'll go to the fountain I saw back there to... <clears throat> clean myself a little. Oh, yeah. Sorry about the mess. That makes sense, though. I'll wait for you in the main hall. All right. Thanks for this, Alex. You made this a very special night. It certainly was. Special. Okay. All right. Damn, boy. That was something else. And, and not only the blob. I love seeing Alex open up with me when we were stargazing. This dinner turned out to be better than I could have imagined. I came looking for copper, and I found gold. <laughs> Maybe this could be the beginning of something more with Alex? Could it be possible? I think I saw her smirking when she turned the corner. Maybe the Ice Queen's heart is finally melting. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'll worry about this later. I should pick up my mask from the maze entrance and head back inside now. All right, right here, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do as always. Go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And, uh, you know, some things were probably left out of the YouTube version of this video. So if you want to see more and what I couldn't show you here on YouTube, Again, check out that link tree link where you can find my Patreon and other things. And, uh, you know, over there, you get a little bit more action and you get it a bit earlier. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Remember? I did the <laughs> Scab, what do you have me making, man? Oh. Scab. Hush.